851, turn right heading 180. Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ's Aviation. And again, on rather unfortunate circumstances, as we've had another aircraft incident in as many days. This time it's involving Fly Jamaica Boeing 757. I just want to mention, while I'll definitely be showcasing some images of the damage, the video will be filled with other aircraft and airlines, as Fly Jamaica doesn't have a whole lot of renderings or free to use pictures out there. The aircraft was headed to Toronto, operating flight OJ-256. It had actually been in the air for around 5-10 to 10 minutes before it turned back to its departure airport in Georgetown. Conditions at the time of landing were definitely good, and the aircraft landed in the dark. There were 128 people on board, and this consisted of 120 passengers and 8 crew. This number is going up and down, with some saying there were 118 passengers and 8 crew, so feel free to put an updated tally in the comment section below, as I could be wrong. While we never want any injuries or deaths on board aircraft, it does appear we just had 6 injured from this incident. When taking a look at the pictures, it certainly could have been worse. Pilots reported a technical problem with the 757-200 shortly after takeoff, and early reports are saying it was ongoing. As it headed back and performed its landing, it suffered a major landing accident, or in other words, a crash landing. Details on the cause is still unknown, as it just happened, and that will be subject to a thorough investigation. This aircraft is the only 757 with Fly Jamaica. It's actually registered as N524AT, and it was originally delivered to ATA Airlines. Pictures depict the airliner smashed into a fence with a lot of damage sustained towards the front half of the aircraft. With the engines pretty much sheared off on one side, the slides activated and significant damage to the landing gear and other key components. I want to take the time now to really focus on the industry and recent incidents. It's no lie, this has been one of the worst years safety-wise in a long time within our industry, with major crashes leaving hundreds dead. We've had a 737 MAX go down, a 747F run off the runway, and now this, all in the space of essentially a week. On top of this, we're seeing constant troubles with engines and more. This has caused a lot of panic in the comment sections of my videos and also social media in general, with people concerned about their next flight in the coming days and more. While I'm no crash investigator or high-profile aviation person, I'm very thankful to have over 140,000 people who have hit that subscribe button. And to those of you that are watching, I want to use this platform I've created to share a message. While we're seeing incidents weekly, know that flying is still one of the safest methods of travel around, and also know that every time you step into a plane, you are with trained professional pilots who have been flying for most, if not all, their lives, and know how to deal with the worst case scenario should that happen on board your flight. So please don't let mainstream media paint a picture of our industry which is in a negative light. Even on my channel, I know I cover the negative side of it, but please know it is still one of the safest ways of flying. With that being said, I'd like to thank you very much for tuning into this video of mine, and I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one.